After showing up unannounced at a Malaysian airport, the UCS Venator has been revealed, and it's more important than you may realize. Officially called the Venator Class Republic Attack Cruiser, this set at $650 USD weighs in at 5,374 pieces. But you probably already knew that at this point. I'm sure you're asking, what's so important about this set? It's not the biggest LEGO set they've ever made, not even for LEGO Star Wars. It's also not the first, and likely not the last, UCS Star Destroyer they've made either. Although it is cool that this one is basically the same length as the old one, despite the Venator being a tad more affordable. It also has more pieces, but that's because it uses a lot of smaller ones in comparison. No, that's not why it's important either. There's multiple layers to why it is so important. The first is that this is our first UCS, or Ultimate Collector Series set, based off of the Clone Wars TV show, 15 years after the first arc of the show was released as a movie in theaters. It's a long time coming too, as interest in the Clone Wars has been reaching an all-time high, especially within the LEGO Star Wars community. But 15 years of the show isn't usually all that celebrated when it comes to releases like this. There is an occasion, however. The concept of the Clone Wars was brought to life with the launch of the first cartoon series based on the subject, simply called Star Wars Clone Wars back in 2003. A celebrated and stylistic animation that's celebrating its 20th anniversary in 2023. If we take a look next to the plaque here, you'll see a brick celebrating just that. Meaning this set is also celebrating an anniversary, which is extremely uncommon for the LEGO Star Wars team to do with a UCS set. It would seem that Lucasfilm is just celebrating the concept of the Clone Wars in general and pulling in anything having to do with the concept under the branding. UCS sets celebrating anniversaries for Star Wars media proper is something we've been asking to see from LEGO for a long time as well. And while some things may have lined up quite well with some releases in the past, this is is the first to go out and say that's why it's here. The R2-D2 they did a little while ago has a cool plaque celebrating Lucasfilm's 50th anniversary, but that's not Star Wars media proper. What might be even more incredible, and at a higher level of importance, is the fact that this is a prequels era UCS set. In a modern sense of it, the only UCS set we've got from that era of Star Wars is the Republic gunship, and that brings us to something even more important than even that, perhaps even the most important aspect. This is the first modern prequels era UCS set that was not voted into production by fans. Although there certainly has been demand, we never had any direct involvement with the UCS Venator's existence. And that says something. It means LEGO is willing to do more prequels era UCS sets like these. And after such a long drought of getting nothing from it, I can't help but embrace the idea with open arms. One thing that LEGO was adamant about with the UCS gunship was that if we wanted to see more prequels UCS sets, we needed to buy it. Those numbers reflect interest. We may have got another in the Venator, but this is still a situation where we would need to put our money where our mouth is. Purchasing the Venator is a big ask, of course, but if at all feasible, and one is interested, you're gonna wanna go for it. If I may persuade you with something that supports me when you choose to pick that set up, you could sign up with Rakuten to get some money back using my link in the description. So we're clear, this isn't a sponsor, but it's a way for you to save as well as support the channel too. A set this big could use a discount. But the best part is, you can shop for anything and take advantage of this, not just LEGO. You sign up for free with my link, use the search bar to find and select any store they have on there, spend the threshold amount, and you get the same threshold amount back. Right now, it's $30. You spend $30 or more, you get $30 back when it's confirmed. Using my link also gets me a kickback at no additional cost to you, just because you used my link to sign up. If that's not your thing, you can always donate to the channel using the thanks button. Not only do I appreciate your generosity if you do, but if you plan on commenting, donating will highlight your comment as well. So, I should ask you, are you excited about the UCS Venator? You can let me know down in the comments. Personally, I'm still amazed that it even exists. I'm so happy it does. If you like LEGO Star Wars, you might like some of the videos on the end screen now. There will be more LEGO Star Wars videos to come, so be sure to subscribe, and feel free to like the video while you're here. I'm Penn, and I'll see you next time.